In this exercise, you will learn about the global compositing properties available for the canvas element through JavaScript. Compositing deals with setting global transparency, asset stacking, and controlling how your assets will interact with one another when they overlap each other on your canvas. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do in my canvas is add two rectangles. One is magenta, one's blue. One's at 20, 20. The other is at 40, 40 x and y positions. And they're both 50 wide by 50 high. That renders this to the canvas. Now the first property we're going to look at is the global alpha. So say I go right in between those two rectangles. So I have drew the first rectangle and now I'm going to set the global alpha using the global alpha property. I'm going to set it to 0.5 which is 50% transparency. Save that, refresh. You can see that the blue one is now 50% transparent. If I want both of them to be 50% transparent, I just go up to the top before I draw any rectangles and I set the global transparency. Now they're both transparent, 50%. So let's pop in a little note to ourselves that says global alpha is equal to 0.0, .0 to 1.0. That's the spectrum. You can go between 0 and 1 using fractions. So I'll put this on 0.7, refresh. And now we're going to quickly discuss the global composite operation. So I'll go in between those two rectangles and I'm going to set global composite operation. But before I do that, let me put a note up top here. And this note shows all of the available values that you can use for global composite operation. And you can see what they are here. Source atop, source in, source out, source over, which is the default. Destination atop, destination in, destination out, destination over, lighter, copy, and XOR. Now we'll quickly visually inspect how all of those work. Okay, so I made my rectangles a little bigger. They're now each 100 by 100, and I put this one at a 50x and 50y position to move it down and over a little bit. Now I'll put the global alpha back to a full 1. That way it's full alpha. Now in between those two rectangles, you see how we drew the first rectangle here to the canvas, and then the second one is drawn here. In between those two, I'm going to set a global composite operation. So let's start with source atop. Save and refresh. Now let's do source in. Now, source out. Now we'll do source over, which is the default, so we won't really see any effect. Now, destination atop. Now, destination in. Destination out. Destination over, which pretty much just puts the first one on top of the second one. So you can see how the magenta rectangle is on top of the blue one when it really should be on the bottom. As you can see, if I comment this out now, it goes back to the bottom where it should be. And we have lighter, copy, and soar. And then you can just play with your global transparency, either by putting it at the top or putting it in between your assets like we did for the global composite operation. So if you manipulate the global alpha while you're going through all of these different settings or these values that you can use, you'll see different kinds of effects because the two assets that are interacting with each other would be opaque. And that completes compositing on the canvas element.